Um, funny story, I was doing first year biomed at uni back in Victoria and I got to the end of the first year and I was like, oh, this isn't quite for me. Um, I just want to travel and growing up people had been saying, oh, you know, you should maybe look into modelling, you know, you're pretty, blah, blah, blah. And I came across this agency called Bella Models, who I'm with, and who uh, use models that are size uh, 10 to 18. And I'm like, oh, perfect, because I'm like a 14, 16. I'm like, that's brilliant, positive body image. So I sent in some iPhone selfies, um, just like, just like that. And then she sent me, my direct, the director sent me back a contract. And then two months later, I deferred uni and I was living in London, not knowing what I was doing, basically. Yeah. And three years later, I'm here in the studio. Yeah, the challenges of modeling are, uh, of course, the rejection. Like you go to so many castings a week, you might get less than half of those jobs. So, and they might tell you why they don't want to use you. So that's quite confronting. So you have to earn, you have to really build this hard shell. And so for me, the, the positive thing that I've gained out of modeling, I've, I've got this really hard shell now. I used to be this, this really shy girl. And now, now I do stand up for myself and I can take criticism and I can, I can, it can wash off me. So it's really built me up to be a stronger person. What I think about young girls modeling these days is, I mean, I started modeling when I was 19. And looking back, I was so naive about the world. I was shy, not that confident. I can only imagine how much more vulnerable even younger girls would be. And I know if, if I had a friend's daughter at that age, I probably wouldn't recommend modeling until at least 18, even 21, because growing up, growing up as a girl through those years, you're so vulnerable to other people's opinions that you don't need that exposure until you're older and you're ready to take it. I would pretty much write a book to myself about what I would tell myself of when I was 16 years old. I, I spent so much time in my teenage years focusing on what I didn't like about myself and focusing on how I could improve myself to be like somebody else. I tried so many diets, tried so many different lifestyle changes and none of them worked, just made me more unhappy because I was just detaching from my inner self that I was becoming someone I didn't know. So I would tell my 16 year old self that your, my, your sense of self-worth is not relevant nor proportional to your shape or your size or of anyone else's. And I think that would have made my childhood much easier to take. Um, so I'm almost 23 and I still have qualms about my body. Um, I would say up until recently, I've started to accept my body. Um, it's been, I think every woman goes on their own journey to accepting their body. And I do believe as a model, it's actually sometimes harder to accept your body because you're constantly open to criticism, comparisons, or oh, that girl got that job over you because of X and Y, um, and because you don't have X and Y. So as a model, it was harder to accept my body, but through that process and understanding and awareness of what was happening, I have come one step closer to accepting my body. And I believe in five years time, I'll be another few steps closer and it's just a journey. So yeah, see where it goes. My favorite part about my body is, I'd say my legs. Um, I can put on jeans and I just, I just love jeans and, and shorts and I 
that's always been my, the first compliment someone gives me is you've got great legs. So, pretty happy with my legs. <laughs> yeah. How do you take a compliment? Um, I think when I was younger, I usually take a compliment negatively. And I know that's quite common amongst girls to instantly deflect compliments and um, be like, oh no, it's just because of that. Or, um, yeah, I've been eating, so I've been, been working out lately. It's, it's, and it's hard to accept a compliment. Uh, but nowadays I would say that I, if it's someone I know, like my, my boyfriend or my family members or friends, I know that they're not, they're not going to be lying to me. They're not going to be, you know, pulling my leg. So just have faith in what people say that you trust and that little compliment will boost your day. Don't, don't waste it. Yeah, don't throw it away. I would say the things that people have said to me over the years that have made me think more positively about my body uh, would just be the, the way you look at your body. It's all about perspective. So I, I can't remember the exact wording, but basically your body is this vessel. If you didn't have a body, you couldn't dance, you couldn't swim, you couldn't run, you couldn't, as a, like a woman, you know, you can't have um, a family, you can't even drive a car. So if you treat your body right, like it's the only body you have, so why, why hurt it? Why hurt it? It is, the body contains your, your heart, your, your soul. Why would you want to damage, damage it? My favourite song, I haven't got, you know, a classic all-time favourite song and people, it's pretty funny, but Taylor Swift, Shake It Off, I mean, what a classic. She, it's, if you're having a bad day, if you, someone has, like, if you didn't get a certain job at a casting, you just put on Taylor Swift, Shake It Off, and, like, you already got swaggered walking down the road. Seriously, it's just... One word that I'd use to describe myself would be, I read, uh, when I was younger I'd describe myself as quirky because I always thought I was a bit odd, weird, different. But now I would describe myself as just unique. Um, yeah. A word that I would hope people close to me to describe me as would just be loving like and caring because I see friendships and relationships as such an important facet of life that you have to nurture and you get so much back from that. So I put so much effort into caring for other people. Um, like I still iron my boyfriend's shirts every day, well not every day, but um, just the little things. Like I just love caring and I hope that they see me like that. When I have a daughter, I'm going to tell her about her body, that she should decide what is beautiful and not take on the front cover of a magazine. She walks by in a news, ag news agency and reads, lose 10 kilos in three weeks and you'll feel better. That has nothing to do with beauty. So I want her to trust herself and her body that she has, that she is already beautiful and she needs not to make any changes to, to fit into this vicious cycle that society has with women, encouraging women to be better, fitter women that they don't need to be at all. What I think it means to be healthy is that not just a healthy body, but it's just as important, actually it's more important if you have a healthy mind. So for me, like exercising gives me endorphins, makes me feel good, and vitamin D going outside it makes me feel good. But then what it is to be healthy is that you can you can walk up a hill and you're fine, but also with a healthy mind, 
you are strong and confident, resilient and happy. Healthy, healthiness and happiness go hand in hand and it's nothing to do with the waistline. <laughs>